How's it going guys? It's KDR here and today I am bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video here on my channel and it is Christmas Day when I am making this video so before I say anything I just want to tell you guys Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. I definitely did with my family. It was well spent and I enjoyed it a lot. But without further ado we're going to jump straight into the video. And you can see that I'm on my team lineup and there are some changes. If you have been keeping up with my team, you know that my starting quarterback and my starting running back both have changed. And you can see the first card we're going to be going over is this animal. If it'll let me click on the card, there we go. 91 overall, Ultimate Freeze Edition, Marcus Mariota. It's just... This card is ridiculous, you guys. Look at the back of the card compared to Ryan Tannehill. It's not really that much of a comparison. But 6'3 in height, 91 speed, 95 throw power, 96 throw on the run. This card is just ridiculous. I think I picked it up for about 277k at the time being. And if you stay tuned with the channel, you know that my last quarterback was actually 93 overall MVP edition Andrew Luck. I did get rid of him. It was kind of, I'm not saying that he was a bad quarterback at all. I'm not downgrading him at all. It's just it got kind of got kind of old using him for so long. I think I had him for about two months. It was getting near that time. And I thought it's about time for a new quarterback. So I pulled in this guy right here just because of its ultimate freeze. Christmas Day. You gotta bring in a card like this. And the next card we're gonna be going over right here is 95 overall signature Le'Veon Bell. Again, if you guys do keep track with the channel, you guys know that I made a video saying that I would either get signature Cam Newton or signature Le'Veon Bell. The choice was up to you guys. I told you guys to leave comments. And the bigger decision, the one who got the more votes, would come to my team. So what actually just happened was I lost connection to the EA servers. I don't really know what happened. I got signed out. I got put back to the home screen in Madden. And I was trying to get back in, and it wouldn't let me unless I quit the game and restarted it. So that was a major delay, but I'm going to try to remember what I was talking about. I'm pretty sure it was just about how I did, in fact, get this Le'Veon Bell because he was the more popular vote by you guys. And along with getting him, I was able to pull in Ultimate Freeze Marcus Mariota because I did have enough coins. I really wanted to use him, and the running back position won over the running back the quarterback position. So... With this new team here, we are going to be showing you guys some gameplay with Marcus Mariota and Le'Veon Bell. Christmas Day, hopefully we can get a win for you guys. We're not going to waste any time, we're going to jump straight into the game. Seriously, you guys do not know how long it has taken me to find this match. The first time I tried, uh, it took about two minutes and we did not find a single match. I was just sitting on the loading screen for about two minutes. And yeah, when it hit the two minute mark, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. So I had to exit the game yet again, restart it. And then next try, it took like maybe 10 seconds and I found another match. And I got three plays into it and it said the connection to my peer has been lost. And it didn't count as a win or a loss for me. I don't know if it counted for anything for him. I'd assume not. But we're starting off early. Shannon Sharp, that should be... No, he drops it. Okay, I really want to see what this Le'Veon Bell can do. I got it for about 370k, I'd say, around there. And I, I did not hit that hit that hole. That was, that was bad. It's already 3rd and 11. We should probably do something here. That'd be really appreciated. Nope, that's that was a tight hole that I did not get it into. Okay, we're punting it already. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to run man coverage the whole time because... From past experiences, my team cannot play zone, cannot run zone like efficiently to save their lives. So we're holding them up in the backfield right there. That's actually a pretty nice stop. This is actually the second team that I've played in a row that has Devontae Freeman. I don't know if he's just like the most popular running back. And yesterday, I actually played someone with Devontae Freeman too. Like, I can't, I can't escape him. He's on every team that I play. So he's running the audible right now. Let's see if we, I, if I can get through with this, that'd be sick. Devontae Freeman's in the flats. He's probably going to go to him. No, nope, my way. Oh, my God. I I can't do anything on that. Seriously. Who is Emmanuel Sanders? Oh, oh, it was incomplete. Oh, okay. All right, that, that helps me a lot. It's already third and ten. Come on, we need to stop. Ah, Jason Verrett. 93 overall MVP edition. That is, that's some good stuff right there. I only have one pitch play 
in the playbook that I use. I'm pretty sure I use the Jaguars offensive playbook. And they only have one pitch. But when I use it, it seems to work a little bit. And this is working a lot. Okay. Le'Veon Bell, his second rush. That's about a 28 or 29-yard gain. I actually got kind of lucky there because one of my two of the defenders, one actually blocked the other one, which really helped me a lot. And we're already in field goal range. We just can't blow this. Oh, my God. Yep, that's, that's not what I wanted. Also, if you are new to the channel, I want you guys to let me in on what you think about the face cams. I do enjoy doing them. I think I'm going to bring them a lot more into my channel. I just don't know what the feedback from you guys is. So if you have any anything to say about face cams, please leave comments down below in this video. So we're going to go with a screenplay here. I'm not sure how this is going to work. It might work. It Okay, it's working. It is working. Okay. Oh, my God. This, this card is insane. I love this card already. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> Running Eagles post right now, I think. This should work. This should work. There's Shannon Sharp for the touchdown. There we go. 7-0 lead early on on my second drive of the game. So he has Jameis Winston in the back, and I'm not even sure if that's, like, the one you get from the first journey. I, oh, oh, who is this? Who is this? Oh, Christ. Is that, um, Denard Robinson? Are you kidding me? And he's in the no huddle. I don't know why, but he has Denard Robinson in the backfield at quarterback right now. What in God's name is this? So this guy is switching. I don't know if it's switching off. It might have just been in a wildcat formation or something, but he has Jameis Winston. Yeah, it's definitely the one you get from the MVP because it's one of his best players. That's how is that not a pick? All right, they're almost at midfield. This is a screenplay. Oh, Jesus. Glover. What the f mm. Wow. The Jets will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Play Guys, this kid has literally already wasted two timeouts just because he took 35 seconds to pick a play and he wouldn't have enough time. And that's another screenplay. Can we please do something about this? Thank you, Cam Chancellor, for the tackle. But that's Denard Robinson again. Why is he switching off? He's switching off between Denard Robinson and Jameis Winston at quarterback. And it's kind of... Fumble! Oh! That would have been something if we could have picked that up right there. We made Devontae Freeman fumble. That's actually the first time I've made him fumble in the past couple days. And I have played him about three or four times. Please, please, don't do this to me! From what I know about online seasons, he's probably going to go for it. Like, look at this. He's already down to, like, nine seconds on the play clock. He takes so long to pick his plays. I mean, I would understand it if they're, like, they are somewhat working, but not a lot of them are actually working. Okay, okay. Okay, that's a pick. Yes, okay. Thank you. That's that's a stop. That is a stop. They could have taken the field goal, but they didn't, and we stopped him on fourth down. I'm okay with that. Probably shouldn't be blitzing again, but I'm going to do it anyway. That, yep, that, that didn't work. That, that didn't work at all, guys. I should have called it off. Oh, my God. Now he's just taking his time. So hopefully we can not let up a touchdown here. That would be big. But I have a good feeling it might happen. Never know. We'll see. No! That's a touchdown. That's the one-yard line. All right. Even even better. He can waste more time off the clock. Looks like he's going to do a pitch to the outside. If we can get... No. Uh, other side. Uh, yep. Yeah, right up the middle. That's That's not good. That's not good at all. We're sending the blitz here, boys. This this could work, or it could be very bad. Oh, God. God! We were so close to getting him, too. I just can't let him waste all the time in the world. Like, he can, he can do whatever he wants right now. I just really hope he doesn't waste time. Okay, that was... Okay. Okay. Him not going down just costed him five yards. Like, if you just would have went down right away... Now he's got Todd Gurley, but if he just would have, if he'd have went down right away, it would have been second and ten, or like at least second and eleven. But he didn't go down, so now it is okay. I don't know if that was to throw it away or if that was to read, but that was that was bad. 
So he seriously, he just did the same thing that I've been talking about, what he did in the first half. He waited till two seconds to pick a play, and he called a timeout to save himself from a delay of game. Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, how is it that hard to pick a play? Just don't. Don't do it. No. No. No! All right, they are faced with yet another third and ten situation. I just, I need to stop here. I really need to stop here. We're already almost to the fourth quarter. Come on. Come on! Okay, fourth and ten. I really wanted that sack right there, but I will take that. It's now fourth and ten. I Just now it's on the factor if, if he goes for it or not. What do you know? It's fourth and ten. There's five seconds left on the play clock. Two, one... And he uses another timeout because of the play clock. Like, I don't understand how it's that hard to pick a play. He's already used, he's used four timeouts this game because of the play clock. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't understand how it's that hard. But, fourth and ten. Huge play right here. Huge. I see who he's going to. No! Oh! Oh! Thank God. Thank you so much. We got lucky there. We're going to be trying another pitch play here. Oh, God. Uh, no, no, we're not. I lied. Maybe we can go to Michael Kendricks. Is that Michael Kendricks? We're going to Michael Kendricks. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to Kuhn. Michael Kendricks put on the block, though. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll take that. That was actually... I really wanted to go to Michael Kendricks and see what he could do. But John Kuhn was wide open. I couldn't pass him up. Just don't throw a pick. I cannot throw an interception because I'd still be able to get points on the board here. I just can't throw a pick. I don't know what to run. I don't know who to go to. Because he's usering up the middle. That is not who I wanted to go to. Oh, man. Wow, that was almost an interception. I can't risk it and not get anything and leave the game tied going into the fourth quarter. So we're taking the field goal here, and we now have a three-point lead. The blitz has actually been, it's it's been up and down. It hasn't worked at times, but other times it's really been handy. We're going to send it here on first and ten, see if we can catch him off guard. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a run. Okay, that's, that's good. That's negative one yard. I'm telling you, the blitz has been working the majority of the game. There have been some plays where it screwed me over, but it's been working a lot. Get out of it, get out of it. All right, we're running cover one press. Because he's probably going to pass this play. Yep, yep, here it is. Okay. And there we go. That's that's a perfect audible. I'm glad I did that. That really helped. Because he knew. He knew I was in the blitz. So he called a no huddle just to catch me off guard because he knew he'd be able to get a pass play off. So quickly I got into cover one press. Or it was cover one thief, one of the two. And we're through the... Okay, yes. I was going to say, if he was not... If he was going to hang on to that, I was going to cry. I was... He knows, he knows what I'm running. He knows what I'm running. He's already up the middle. Maybe I could run this. This could work. Please. Oh, it worked. Oh my God. He knew I. He knew what I was running. He went to the dead center of the field and was just waiting for the four verticals, the tight end slant across the middle. So I don't know. I don't even know what that play was, but I'm glad I ran it. It worked perfectly. So now we're all ready to. Okay. Okay. This. This is. We're getting. We're getting somewhere. Yes. That is perfect. All right. And you guys, I totally forgot he only has one timeout left because, as I said, he has wasted a total of four timeouts this game just because of the play clock. So I could run one play, just kill the clock, kneel twice, and that really lower it down. But I think I might, I think I might just strike for the touchdown, just kind of end it there. It wouldn't really end it. He'd still have somewhat of a chance. But John Kuhn, oh my God. Okay, I kind of wish that I would have went down before that just to waste his final timeout or waste some time off the clock. But we now have a 10-point lead, so I'm not going to complain at all. Until Jameis Winston is not going to come in the clutch here. He can't do it. He can't do it. Come on. Get through the line. Get through the... Pick. Pick! He almost caught that. How does... No one even got a hand on it from my team. He's only got that one timeout. He's probably going to save it. That is... Oh! <laughs> Linval Joseph! Oh my god! Did you guys see that? Linval Joseph! He got the pick off of the hit on the quarterback, hurdled the quarterback and Gilbert Brown for a pick six. 
I don't even know what to say about that play. That was insane. Linville Joseph, like, he caught the ball. And I didn't even hit Hurdle. I don't even think I hit Hurdle. He just hurdled straight over Gilbert Brown and Jameis Winston for the easy pick six. Like, that was, that was insane. Hopefully we can do something insane again. That'd be awesome, but... Uh, how does that happen? We're in man coverage. Who do you beat out? Was that... I think that was either true... It was either True Font or Tremont Williams. I'm not sure, but come on, no, that's a pick. Verrett with the pick in the end zone. That was actually that was a really nice interception. That was very nice, and that's gonna put an end to this game. All right, the final two minutes of this game were probably the two best plays of the game, if you ask me. And they are lining. Wow. Okay, I could I could do something here. I could do something here. Le'Veon Bell, why am I celebrating? Go, go, Le'Veon Bell. They stacked up the entire other side of the line, and Le'Veon Bell is going to be walking in with an 80-yard touchdown run, and he's quitting. He is now quitting the game. It was going into the fourth quarter, the score to this game, I think it was 10-7. to Yes, it was 10-7 to going into the fourth quarter of this game, and I just annihilated him in the fourth quarter, and we're ending up with a score of 30-7. to it would have been cool to get to the final of the game, but that was actually, that was really weird of him. He stacked up the whole right side of the line, and with the outside zone, it's just it's just a straight, like, it's like a sweep to the outside, and that was probably the easiest running touchdown I've ever had. So with that win, I actually do clinch the playoffs, so I'm definitely going to be bringing you guys every playoff game that I do play on this account. Hopefully, I can make it to the Super Bowl and win it for you guys. But I definitely will be posting every video of every game that I do make it to the playoffs. But that was quite the win for my team. We ended up with a score of 30-7. to I really don't know how it ended like that. But I'll take that win. That was a actually pretty dominating win. Actually, it was really close up until the fourth quarter. But then I kind of took it into my own hands and ended the game. So that is going to put an end to the Christmas Day video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to smash that like button and make sure to subscribe for more Madden 16 videos in the future. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. We can't get anything going. I roll out right here. I get hit as I throw, and there is an interception. After that pick right there, we're jumping into the third quarter right now, and thankfully our defense did something I don't know what it was exactly, but we start off with the ball.